Ladies and gentlemen, coming from Vancouver, BC. Give it up for Ann Hill, y'all. Ann Hill. My name is Ed, and uh, I'm from Canada. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, what's interesting is whenever I tell people that, people usually ask me, so Ed, how long have you been in Canada? Which I quickly learned another way of saying, so where are you really from, China man? I'm sorry. I understand it's confusing because I'm Canadian, I'm Asian, my passport's from Canadian, and this says, try again. Better luck next time. No, I don't hate it though, guys, I don't hate it, because it makes amazing conversation with people. I remember one time after a show, a lady came up to me, she's like, hey, you're Canadian and you're Asian, so you must be a Canadian. <laughs> Which is uh, kind of offensive, right? But when I thought about it, I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does she say that to other people too? Does she do that to other folks? She's like, hey, you're brown and French, so you must be a brunch. <laughs> or hey, you're black and Jamaican, so you must be a bacon. Or hey, you're Irish or Mexican, you must be a drunk. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I don't know, it's just, you know, it, it, it's cool to be open. I've been here for a day and it's a cool city, you got cool people, cool vibe. I come to the conclusion recently that I'm just not a cool guy. I'm not. Like I got 99 problems and diarrhea is all of them. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys really feel sorry. Like it doesn't even matter why I eat. I have Chinese food, I get sick. I have an Italian food, I get sick. I have vegan food, I get bitchy and start telling people what to do. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't win, there's no winning. And you know you're not a cool guy when your own mom talks shit in front of your face. Like you, you know you're not cool when that happens. My mom hates the fact I shake my head. But she knows at the same time, I'm never going to that. So over the years, we've done this thing, we'll make fun of each other in a subtle way every time we see each other. Like last time I saw her, she's like, hey, anyway. Cha, 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 chia. I was like, hey, mom, you're a bitch. <laughs> I didn't say that. I still lived there. <laughs> the, the, the fact is people say shit to me all the time. I got this neighbor who likes to make small talk, not just any small talk. This guy likes to make cultural small talk. And the one time he's taking out the garbage, the bummer guy, he's like, hey, Ed, I'm just wondering, man, does soy sauce taste like Alfredo sauce? You know what I mean? So I, I didn't talk to the guy. I'm like, I'm not going to go into this. And he kept going with the conversation. He's like, you know what? I just love Alfredo sauce. It's so white and warm and creamy. I just love it in my mouth. <laughs> so the whole time he was talking, he thinking in my head, holy shit. Is Alfredo a guy? Because when I was a kid, I used to look in the mirror and go, wow, what a man. Now I look in the mirror and go, wow, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Lay off the cheesecake for two days. <laughs> and it's not, like I'm, it's not like I'm helping myself in any way, shape, or form. It's not. I'm not. I'm not helping myself at all. Because two weeks ago for lunch, I ate seven hot dogs. Seven hot dogs. You know who eats seven hot dogs for lunch? Seven different people. Before you judge me, let me tell you why. It's, it's not a cultural thing, it's not a racial thing, it's not a family thing. For me, it's more of a transition thing. Because Asian women, they're beautiful. When they're 30, they look like they're 18. When they're 40, they look like they're 18. When they're 50, they look like they're 18. When they're 60, they look like raisins. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my time, you guys are great, thank you. Words that quiver, you have to